Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Ms. Aisha Manzoor, and you are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So today in this lesson, we are going to attempt question number 5 from the ATP Pass Paper, Variant 4-2 in the session, May-June 2020. So in this question, a student does an experiment to determine the enthalpy change for the displacement reaction between zinc and aqueous copper 2 sulfate. So, this reaction is given. Question is, state what is observed during this reaction. So, observation is basically, we can tell that the copper 2 solution, aqueous copper 2 solution is basically blue in color. color. And zinc sulfate is colorless. So, we can say that blue color can be fade. So, the, that's one answer, but here we have copper metal that is red, brown or pink solid. But here we uh, have to score only one mark. We have to record or give only one observation. So we can write the answer here, right? We can write that blue solution of copper 2 solution sulfate, blue solution of copper 2 sulfate, Sulfate fades during the reaction. You can write the, the red, brown or pink metal deposit, whatever you can say. But here we just want to score one mark. So we will write blue solution of copper sulfate phase during the reaction. So this is the answer for the first question. Then we will move ahead. The student weighs a sample bottle with a small amount of zinc powder. Pours 25.0 centimeter cube of 0 0.500 mole per decimeter cube copper sulfate into a glass beaker and record the temperature. Records the temperature of the copper sulfate at 1 minute intervals for 3 minutes. Add the zinc powder to the copper sulfate at the 4th minute. Point to be noted that at the 4th minute, add zinc powder to the copper sulfate will be added. Right, this is the major point. Stir the mixture in the glass beaker and records the temperature at one minute interval for six minutes. The mass of container with zinc powder is 15.18, and the mass of container after zinc powder added to copper sulfate is 14.23. Right, calculate the mass of zinc powder added to copper sulfate. So we can minus this value 15.18. Subtract it with 14.23 and then we will get the answer 0 0.95 grams. So this is very simple. You can calculate it by subtracting the values. Here we go. Suggest why no temperature was recorded at the fourth minute. So in the previously we have uh, read in this question that basically that zinc was added at the fourth at the, at the fourth minute. So due to this reason we can say that the temperature readings temperature readings because there is no temperature here why because temperature readings suggest suggest that the zinc powder, which we have read in the previously in the paper, I will show you, suggests that the zinc powder, that the zinc powder was added at the fourth minute, at the fourth minute. So after adding the zinc reaction will start. That is why there is no temperature which is being recorded. So I will show it to you that how we can justify this fourth minute uh, thing that here in the question it is given. Yes, add zinc powder to copper sulfate at the fourth minute. So we will get rest of the readings after adding zinc powder in the copper sulfate solution. So suggest why the zinc is powdered. Obviously, in order to increase the rate of reaction, zinc is powdered. So, powdered means larger surface area. 
so what we will write it here powdered zinc has a powdered zinc has a larger surface area has a larger surface area which increases the rate of reaction which increases the rate of reaction rate of reaction so the next question state the glass beaker is not the most suitable piece of apparatus for this experiment suggest an improvement yes this is not a uh, good enough because the heat is lost by the beaker because glass glass which is uh, beaker is made by glass glass being a bad insulator bad insulator which will allow heat to escape actually which will allow heat to escape heat to escape okay now the next part of this question we have to score two marks so we have done the answer for the one mark right for this and one mark for this suggest an improvement so for this improvement what we can use we can use another thing that is we can use a polystyrene club or we can insulate the beaker we can insulate or by insulating a beaker or use a polystyrene cup insulating the beaker or use polystyrene cup actually polystyrene cup or by doing the insulation of beaker the loss of heat will be less use of polystyrene cup okay now plot the values of temperature which values we will plot here just look at the table so at the minute 0 1 2 3 we have to mark the points 22.1 22.1 22.1 for each minute we will leave the fourth minute and then from the fifth one we will uh, mark on the graph 29.1 28.9 28.7 28.5 28.3 and 28.1 so after putting these values on the graph you will get the graph like this like this so instructions were very clear to us we have to draw these points and make the straight lines on it how it is given in this part draw a straight line of the best fit through the point from 0 to 3 minutes and then extrapolate the line to the fourth minute so we have to mark uh, and get the value till the fourth minute so we have to we have to get move this line towards the fourth minute okay draw a straight line of best fit through the points 5 to 10 minutes so this is the way through which we have to draw a straight line on the points okay we have drawn a graph now we have to answer the rest of the questions use your extrapolated lines to determine the temperature change at the fourth minute so in order to change where is the value actually is coming if we are going to concern about the fourth minute so in fourth minute we will get the value like this this is the this is the fourth minute and we straight on up the line along with that line okay and i will get the reading from here what is basically the line is where line is coming at the fourth minute and we will record this value and get the answer at the four minute that is the 29.3 so we have to calculate the change the value which i have uh, taken from the graph it is the 29.3 right degree centigrade but what about the delta t at the fourth point delta t means the change in temperature if we have a uh, any other temperature like the starting temperature was 
if we will talk about the starting temperature that was the value 22.1 we will subtracting this value and get the change in temperature after subtracting this value from 22.1 we will get the value 7.2 degree centigrade so the next calculate the energy change q in j during the reaction use the expression shown q is equal to m into c into delta t i know that this formula in the o levels classes is not very familiar so don't be get upset just want to know what is given and what you have to do so this is the information handling or uh, data handling uh, question so it can be little challenging or little uh, you can say that it can uh, give you a little uh, chance to think so how you will solve this question get this formula q is equal to m into c into delta t we have this delta t we have calculated in the previous part that is 7.2 okay 7.2 delta t we have 7.2 we are putting the values in this formula into this c what is c c is specific heat capacity of solution that is given 4.2 2 so we will put the value of c that is 4.2 joule per gram per degree centigrade okay then what we have mass we have mass of solution that is 25.0 gram we will put the value 25.0 gram now we are going to calculate our q so q is equal to when we are going to complete this calculation we will get the answer 756 joules so we will write the answer here 756 joules so the limiting reagent is copper sulfate calculate the number of moles of copper sulfate in 25.0 cm cube of 0.500 mole per dm cube copper sulfate so what is the formula we have we have to calculate the number of moles so in order to calculate the number of moles for the solution we have the formula so in this part we have to calculate the number of moles of copper sulfate in 25.0 cm cube of 0.500 mole per dm cube of copper sulfate so in order to calculate the moles we have to use this formula concentration into volume and that volume will be in dm cube we have concentration 0.500 and now we have the volume which is given is 25.0 cm cube so in order to convert 25.0 cm cube we will divide it by 1000 okay to uh, convert this cm cube in dm cube so it's very necessary that you have to convert cm cube into dm cube by dividing this value with 1000 after dividing this value multiply by it with our concentration we will get the moles of copper sulfate and after solving it we will get the answer 0.0125 moles use your answer from b9 and b10 calculate the enthalpy change of the reaction in kilojoule in kilojoule per mole include the appropriate sign with your answer so what we have calculate we have to calculate the delta h we will use the answer of question 9 that is 756 and we will use the answer from 10 that is 0.0125 so if we want to calculate delta h what we will do we will divide this energy change we will divide this energy change by number of moles so what we will do we will calculate delta h is the enthalpy change we will use our q value divided by moles and q which we have calculated in part 9 that is 756 joules divided by our value of mole 0.0125 so what is will be the answer is 60480 joule per mole but here in the question we have to convert this value in in kilojoules so what we will do 
To get the value in kilojoules, we will divide it by 1000 to get the answer of kilojoules. So if we will divide it by 1000, we will get the answer 60.5, right, to get the value in kilojoules per mole. So we will divide it this value by 1000. The next part, the actual enthalpy change for this reaction is likely to be greater than the value calculated in B11. Suggest the reason for this difference. Actual enthalpy change for this reaction is likely to be greater. Why actual is greater and why calculated is not greater like the original one? The reason because <clears throat> loss of heat actually. Loss of heat during the reaction, which is basically inevitable. So, due to this reason, we will say heat loss, heat loses are inevitable during the reaction, right? During the reaction <clears throat> so the actual enthalpy change actual enthalpy change enthalpy change is greater Actually, during the calculations, always readings become low or less by handling uh, the apparatuses or by handling the chemicals. But here, in case of heat, heat is lost, lost to the surrounding by using the glass beaker, by using the non-insulation apparatus, we can lose the heat. So, due to this reason, the actual enthalpy change is greater than the calculated value. So, this question is of 17 marks. If you people are going to get a clear understanding how to do the questions and how to handle the information which is given here. You people are not familiar with this formula because this is from the A-level class. But if you people want to attempt a good question, you must memorize and try to understand all the things and all the data which is given to you. So, this, is, this part is basically the data handling question and little challenging for you how to handle this information so this is the end of this chapter this question so i hope so that you people have learned it very well so see you soon inshallah i will see you in next class till then allah hafiz